All right, Mono Red Token Storm. So what this deck is looking to do is make a bunch of Goblin Tokens via Kranko's Command of Dragon Fodder or Tokens via Young Pyromancer. And then with things like Infernal Plunge and Battle Him, we generate large amounts of mana to like draw through our deck with Reforge the Soul into Past and Flames to make more mana, draw more cards, make more tokens. And then eventually we kill them via Burn at the Stake or by kicking a Goblin Bushwhacker to make your Young Pyromancer tokens gain haste and kill them. So we also have a couple copies of like Steam Kin in here to make a bunch of bunch of extra mana. I did cut the Haze of Rage. So I went, so this is, I went back and listened to past Jeff after he played this deck last time and listened to the feedback that I gave my, that I gave in the wrap up segment and made a bunch of changes from the last time we played this based on my, my last wrap up segment. So we'll see how this goes. Jeff, Jeff, TJ. I mean, like, when people come and ask me about the deck that I played, like, weeks ago, I always tell them, like, go back and listen to my wrap-up segment, right? And, like, I do that because, like, past Jeff is way more informed on the deck he just played than I am, like, weeks later. Do I take meme vintage decks for non Well, I'm not, I'm not doing off-stream content anymore, Hyder. And vint the vintage queue just doesn't fire, so I can't play it on stream. There's aren't enough people playing Magic Online for vintage to fire. So, I guess the answer is no, no vintage decks. What's going on, Ozar? Yes, yeah. Yeah, like, like asking me about a deck that I played like a week ago is like 30 decks ago for me. So it's just like, you should probably go check out the wrap up segment. No, so my new my new Tempo Storm sponsorship is um, I only get paid for Twitch watch time, not YouTube watch time. And like YouTube watch time is like already like pennies on the uh, pennies on the dollar in terms of like time invested. So like when you add the Tempo Storm deal into that, it doesn't make sense for me to do off stream stuff anymore. But something something I played with when I had some time off over the holidays and the invitation to like see if it was popular and just like. Some people liked it, but it wasn't enough to generate any actual income compared to Twitch, which is much easier to monetize. God bless, God bless Twitch Prime and Bezo Bucks. They are, they, they pay the mortgage. I ordered a package with next day shipping on Thursday and it won't be here till next Monday. Rough. Are you in part of the country that's experiencing weather right now? I gotta imagine a lot of packages got delayed recently in the Midwest. Man, almost three minutes. Damn, damn Q times. I don't really think there's that much of an echo. I think the sound just like, I, I went back and listened to a bunch of my stuff. Like I listened before I went live yesterday, I went back and listened to my recordings afterwards. And I think people are just like, I think people are just like, it's different and different is scary. Congrats to the new team. Hope all is well. Gauchos, thanks for the three month resub. Welcome back. Yeah, the new team, the new team is sweet. I just understood the Bezo Bucks reference. Uh, this hand's not amazing, but it's probably better than four. I mean, I mean, reverb is echo. A reverb, reverb is is echo. Those are those things are like synonymous. Yeah, a little little tinny. I think tinny is a good word, which is. It'll be, it'll be fine. I ordered, I ordered some paneling. It'll be here. It'll be here, uh, Monday. For people that don't understand the Bezo Bucks reference, um, Jeff Bezos is the owner of Amazon and Twitch is an Amazon subsidiary. So like, 
Twitch Prime giving me money is basically like Amazon giving me money. That's that's where that's the origin of the Bezo Bucks reference. Eidolon of the Great Revel. Okie doke. Blue Red Prison League. Uh I think it's probably at least 75 for a Blue Red Prison League. Those leagues tend to be like two and a half to three hours, and with how with the viewer numbers modern get, I think I need at least 25 an hour. Those leagues, those leagues, like if I do a prison league, it's probably my entire Magic Online morning for one day. All right, I have a bunch of abrades in my sideboard here, so we've got that going for us at least. How do we how do we sideboard? Do I just like trim a bunch of filler? I think I probably just trim a bunch of filler. Just gonna cut the steamkins because they're hard to get value out of. If my opponent has a lot of removal spells. It sounds fine. It's got like Pyromancer into like Morphos, Plunge. It's got an Abrade to kill an Eidolon, which is nice. One of my, my sponsor MTGO traders hooks me up with cards that I need for streaming. A park. So yeah, I don't I don't personally own any Magic Online cards. It would cost it would cost me like upwards of twenty thousand dollars to have all the cards I need to stream like I stream. With taking taking viewer submitted deck lists. Uh, I don't well it definitely doesn't pull from the gatherer, because the gatherer doesn't have an API. Yeah, I plan to use all my common and uncommon wild cards before I before I open any packs. Instead of me telling you your idea is bad, Beastie Cheese, instead tell me why your di your idea is good. Say, this card is good because, and then elaborate on why you think that card is good. What problem does my deck have that that card solves? Etc, etc. Yeah, I'm supposed to keep the extra braid. I think I need to kill Taylor here, though, before she runs me down. No, I don't, I don't think that exists yet, Gabriel Paints. Spike me, baby. Pass in flames. I mean, that kind of does a thing eventually. Looking for a Kranko's Command or a Dragon Fodder to like get some tokens into play to get Infernal Pledge going. And ditch these two. Next turn I can PZ into Manamorphos. Because the Past in Flames does flash back, so we've got that going for us. There's a good chance we die next turn, though. Because I'm going to 8. I guess there's not a good chance that we die. There's a non-zero chance that we die, though. No, I don't think so, Andrew. It looked like I went through the full spoiler today, and unless I missed something, it looked like the beef had been revealed. Alright, we're dead. Gosh. I think we'd uh, we'd have been pretty close to killing them here, right? I'd have gone Morphos, Morphos, plunge a token. I guess I guess I could Morphos. Even Morphosing into a breed here doesn't really do anything. What's going on, Billy Fred? Thanks for the prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping keeping me employed here. 
Yeah, the interface on Magic Online lacks uh, special effects, and it lacks an online interface, an interactive interface, lacks lacks, uh, lacks a lot of things. How are we doing, folks? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you're out in the world. Thanks for dropping by here today. My name is Jeff Hogan. I'm a full-time streamer and content producer here on Twitch. I'm here playing Magic 30, 40, 50 hours a week. We play some Modern and some Legacy here on MTGO. We also play a bunch of Standard on Magic Arena. If you find yourself enjoying my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. My subscribers are the people that keep me employed here full-time. I wouldn't be here day in and day out without their wonderful support. By subscribing, you can also support my stuff by checking out some of my very wonderful sponsors. Harry's Razors would love to help you get that close clean shave using code Jeff Hoagland at bit.ly forward slash Google shave you can save five dollars in your brand new starter kit with them remember just because you like playing the degenerate decks doesn't mean you need to look like it Hurley Burley Studio.com does professional Magic the Gathering alters, border extensions, and full art alterations. Using code Jeff10 at Hurley Burley Studio.com you can save 10% on all of your purchases there with them. Cardsure.com would love to help you turn your cards into other cards directed to the players. There's no haggling, and they just take 1% fee off the top. And, of course, MTGO Traders, we were talking about them earlier, is the wonderful place that provides all my wonderful cards for me to stream lots of different decks here in MTGO. And if you're thinking about picking up some cards, whether it be for Modern, Legacy, or Standard on Magic Online, you can save 10, 8% on all of your orders with them by using code Hoagland PayPal at checkout. All right. And on to the second match with the Token Storm deck, see if we can get on the scoreboard with this one. I don't consider MTGO a game, it's a Magic the Gathering simulator. Yeah, it's not, that's the big difference. Like, Magic Arena is like an actual video game, and Magic Online is just a Magic simulator. I agree with that. Is that after the set drops, before opening packs? Yes, exactly. So, I plan to open, I plan to use, fill, use all 300 of my common and uncommon wild cards before I open any new pack sets. And the reason I plan to do that is so I can have all my commons on commons that I open fill my vault. Standard always rotates between five and eight sets. So when magic rotates in the fall, it will go from eight sets down to five. Do you have a favorite card for modern from the new set? No, not really. What beats up Tron the best? Storm, Burner, Ponza? Definitely Storm. Kaladesh is completely programmed on Arena. Yeah, we'll probably do the opening on stream. Yay, modern. Looking for a land. Ding, ding, ding. Discard this. Probably discard this too. Let's see if they have a walking ballista on two here or not. If they have walking ballista, we're probably going to be up a creek without a paddle. I really hope there's no Kaladesh in the new format. Or I hope if they do put Kaladesh in the new format, they go back further than it. I'm going to be incredibly disappointed if they start with Kaladesh. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly, Lur. It's a really inefficient way to turn my common and uncommon wild cards into potentially something useful. Because I'm, like, never going to use those common and uncommon wild cards. So I might as well, like, turn them into marginally something better. Keep in mind that if you make a strong statement like, you're wrong and this is the truth, on this channel, this isn't the rest of the internet, you gotta validate that statement with a source, you're gonna get a 10 minute break. Great, right, they played Walking Ballista, so we died. Hey, Natty, thank you for the seven month resub. I really appreciate that. And the tier two at that, welcome back. Thanks for thanks for keeping me employed here. Remember, my tier two subs get to bump something in the queue every month, so feel free to drop me a message and let me know if there's something in there that you'd like to bump up. I think I'm just gonna click submit here. I don't think a breed's very good. Like, I guess it kills Walking Ballista, but I kind of just want to try and do my thing here.
When am I going to open the packs on stream? Uh, I don't know. Probably the morning of the 17th. This hand just doesn't do anything, right? This hand's fine. Not amazing, but fine. I think I'm going to Faithful Student after I Pyromancer, so that way I can make a token. How do you check when you sub to someone on Twitch? It's buried in your settings somewhere. I don't know exactly where though. If you click on the upper right hand corner on the desktop mode, there's an option that says subscriptions that should show you when uh, when your sub renews. What are the prices differences for subs or Twitch Prime subs automatically lowest tier? Yeah, Twitch Prime subs are the equivalent of the 499 subs. And then tier two subs are $10 and tier three subs are $24, $25. So with my deck queue system, tier one subs get to add decks for a cheaper price. It's $10 to add standard decks for them and 25 for modern. And then tier two subs get to add 10 points to a deck in the queue every month. Then tier three subs can submit a standard or modern deck every month when they renew. Forty four hundred and thirty two common wild cards and three hundred twenty eight uncommon wild cards have a play set of each common and uncommon in the new set. That's great. So I will definitely have a play set of uncommons and I will have almost a play set of commons. I think I have about three hundred of each. Uh, I am in my house. I'm in a new house though. Christy and I, Christy and I moved over the over the weekend, Thursday Friday morning. Hey, Lemma Jin, thank you very much for the brand new Prime support. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for supporting mine this month with that. I mean, let's be honest. People who are saying think energy would be oppressive or energy wouldn't be oppressive in the new format, you're just talking out of your butt. Please stop. This isn't, this isn't the rest of the internet where you just get to, like, make stuff up. You're not the president of the United States. You don't just get to go on the internet and lie and not have any repercussions for it. The actual, the actual answer is we don't know. Magic's really complicated, and when you get a bunch of sets involved, it gets even more complicated. So, like, energy might be fine, it might not be fine, but we definitely don't know. Here's hoping this is just Steel Overseer and not Walking Ballista. Yeah, Bant, Bant Defenders is going to be real good soon. Be able to just build a wall. I'm being paid in IOUs backed in full faith and credit. Oh, Tony, I'm sorry that you're being impacted by that. It's so, ch it's such garbage. All right, well, we need, we need something to do at some point. But I guess, I guess flashing back to this Faithless Dooting is eventually something to do. I hope you stream yourself for redeeming 600 wild cards. I plan to just import a deck list into Magic Arena and just like one click hit use all wild cards. It'll be, it'll be real easy. Burly Burly Alters has a MAGA Arcadis on her Instagram. That's fantastic. 
Do you have a link to it? Can you link it in chat, Lost Lurgwave? I'll totally pull it up on stream. <clears throat> All right, well, that's, that's still not walking, Ballista, so I am saying there's a chance. Take a chance on me. Do 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 do. Yeah, we got walls. We got huge, huge walls. Arcades is going to make a wall, and the Rakdos are going to pay for it, okay? You heard it here first. All right, so what are we doing? I think, so I can cast, I can cast Krenko's command, which will put me up to six, six creatures in play. And then I can make mana off the runaway Steamkin and battle him for seven mana, which will put me to eight total, which then lets me cast Faithless Looting to maybe hit something. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the line. I think it's Krenko. Make some stuff, make mana with the Steamkin, battle him. Hey, Isaac M, thank you very much for the Prime support. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for supporting my content this month with that. Yes, Steven Spawn. You want to talk to me? Chat, do we want to talk to Declan? What do you what do you think, chat? Should we should we talk to Declan? Yeah. Declan Declan thinks we should talk to Declan. Alright. Alright. Chat chat said you can come in for a minute. Chat said the internet said you can come in. You gotta, you gotta say hi to the internet. Can you say hi to the internet? Oh, hi. What the? I'll take Sun out here. There's, there is a switch. Do you want to take the switch upstairs and play with mom? I want to play a game on here. Okay, but if you want to play a game, you have to take it upstairs, okay? Because dad, dad's working right now, so he can't play. So, the word walkie talkies are right there, though. There are walkie talkies, okay? You want to take the switch up to mom? Yeah. Okay. Can you say bye to the internet? Can you say bye, internet? That is my tablet. All right, go say, go tell mom, dad said you can play with the switch. I think, I think we might. We're like, we're like kind of doing it. So like, I get to flash back the past in flames, but like, not, not a whole ton comes from this. So I get, to, I get to make a bunch of tokens, but I don't actually have a way to end the game from here. So I get, I get to battle him for infinite mana and like make six more tokens here, but I don't actually have, I don't actually have a way to kill them this turn, unfortunately. I don't have a way to draw cards. So I've got a lot of things, but I'm not sure the way I actually can go anywhere. We're all kind of like all dressed up with nowhere to go. They're conceding. Okay, deal. I was gonna make six more tokens and pass, which I guess is like probably close to lethal, right? Someday Duck will be old enough to realize he could have been internet famous and regret choosing the switch. <laughs> Do I want these gut shots in my deck? Maybe I want these gut shots. So that was actually game two and I just didn't sideboard for it. Do I do I want a sideboard? I'm gonna, I'm gonna close my door here so we get a little bit less echo from the upstairs. What do I, what do I want to cut? Remember, we're kind of a linear deck, right? So like everything, everything we board in comes out at a real cost. It's strange when the man in the talkie box walks away from the camera. I might just, 
just run it back again. Just like do the race. Just like hope they don't have walking ballista. Cause like, even if they draw a walking ballista, right? Like they're generally not gonna play it out proactively, which means they're gonna play it and kill my board and then I'm like behind anyways. Just hope they don't have it. We got to kind of do our thing at least once there. So we got that going for us. Um, does this hand do anything? It like faithless lootings into a Krankos command and then can like infernal plunge. I guess this is probably fine. It's probably like in the realm of keepable. I don't think it's particularly good, but I feel like it's in the realm of keepable. On the draw, especially. Awkward. Well, I know what we're discarding to the Faithless Looting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Declan. Mommy took the switch from you. Mom took the switch from you? She said no. Oh, I did. Oh, are those are those real tears? Yeah, mommy, tell her I get to play it. Play it. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her you get to play it. Okay. Uh, I want two person to play it because it's actually your. But you can play it with us. They can play it. Dad's working for a little bit. We're gonna play. We can play Switch all day tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Do you see him smirking? He knows. Are you a tiny manipulator? Is that is that what you are? You're a, you're a tiny manipulator. Is that is that what you are? <laughs> the monster speaks for Twitch chat. Oh, I was hoping to draw a land there. We're probably dead. I, be I believe we're dead if they untap, right? Like Arcbond Ravager kills us with Egg Moth, so I guess we'll I guess we'll attempt to spin tires here, but I believe I believe the game is over. Yeah, let's go tell her. All right, sorry for a taste of the old streams. That'll be the last toddler interruption for the evening. All right, I think we're dead, I think we're dead. All right, I almost didn't accept this deck again and I'm kind of wishing I didn't. I've been, I've been tightening up my acceptance submission for modern and legacy submissions, rejecting a lot more aggressively. And unless, unless something looked like, I, I felt like this one might've been cool enough to be like, worth playing if it was through the slog, but I don't know, let's try Let's try one more and see if we get to do our thing, but we just kind of flop around again. I'm probably gonna call it a night on the modern. Play some standard to wrap things up. Man, that's so depressing. We have less people watching than the, the, G, the GP replay, the, the limited GP replay. Poor Magic Online. That is true. We do we do get to kill a bunch of lands here in a few minutes. Ah, the O2 versus the O3. This is this is where the real magic happens. I'm 
The meme, the meme fight. The gloves are coming off. Nah, I, that's that's basically negligible in terms of my my viewer count for Ever a Dork. There's a there's obviously some overlap with Magic People, but it's less than you'd think. Basic Island, sure. Runaway Steamkin, sweet. I think my hand's like fine enough that I'm gonna like play Steamkin out before I have Faithful Zooting so I can like get max, max things on here. Glint Nest Crane, okay. Uh, I guess, I guess if they trade Walking Ballista for Runaway Steam, can I'm okay with that here? I think that's, I think that's an end result that I'm okay with. Oh, and now, now they're just not even going to trade, right? They're just going to like activate and then activate and then shoot my thing. And their Walking Ballista is going to be left over. Oh. Why wouldn't you tap this so you don't have to trade? It's the sweetest arena deck we played recently. Definitely the, uh... That's cute. Definitely the red-white land destruction deck. One's been a lot of fun. We're actually going to start with that again tonight. So deck's been really awesome. So I was always no standard and only modern, but Arena got me. I think Arena got a lot of people. I think it's not even just that Arena got people so much as like everybody who started playing Magic with modern in the last two to three years has like literally never experienced a great standard format. And this current standard format is a great standard format. It's so good. It's just easily one of the best formats of Magic I've ever played. And that, uh, that goes a long way. All right, so I could Dragon Fodder plus Increasing Vengeance here, which is, I think, what I want to do. I have these Faithless Lootings potentially generate cards next turn. Filter through to some goodness. What do they just do? Oh, they put Walking Ballista back on top of their deck. Yep. All right, so need to chump block here so I don't just die to the Ballista. So they can play this for four and like kill my Steamkin. And like still have a walking ballista left over. I guess I could have played around this by leading on Pyromancy here, but they also just should have killed it on their turn. I'm just pretty off what this deck is doing. Yeah, I, I don't think I should have accepted this one. This is, this is the tough part about Modern and the part that's kind of like beaten a little bit of my spirit down. 
These are these are decks that like as I was gearing up into full time, even just like the beginning of the year, it feels like it feels like I could have these these like kind of weird and wacky brews were like more competitive when the format was like less ingrained, but as like things have gotten more efficient, it's like get a little bit brutalized more often. Just not a not an enjoyable gameplay experience. Playing like the good decks, like we played we played Grixia Shadow last night, for instance. That was very reasonable. Like playing the decks that are like actual like playable power level in modern is still pretty enjoyable in my opinion. But just like a lot of these more weird and wacky things, they've just become like O two ing, O three ing, one three ing leagues. It's just not fun, at least for me personally. Standard, 